Okay, last video we talked about equivalent fraction. This video we're going to talk about simplified or reduced fraction, or we call it simple fraction. So if you look into this example here, right, is this a reduced fraction, or how can we have a reduced fraction, right? So let's take a look here on this one down here, right? So reduced fraction, you know, to be reduced fraction, if there is no common number both numerator and denominator other than one and number itself okay then we call it reduced fraction again if both numerator and denominator both this numerator and this denominator have no other common factor other than one and number itself we call it reduced fraction so well let's actually so 5 times 1 and 5 times 2 times 1. So those are factors actually. Now the definition says we cannot have an extra one. We can have a number and one. We can have a number itself and one. But this time we have a two extra. So therefore, this is not an this one is not simple fraction. This is not a simple fraction. Okay. So how about this example here? One half. Is this a simple fraction? Clearly, well, if you know this is the easy one to come up with, right? So, 1 times we can really say 1 times 1 and 2 times 1. So, we have a number itself and 1. So, therefore, it's checked out. This is a reduced fraction which is equal to 1 half. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, so if 5 over 25 so clearly we can break it down by using the by factoring okay so 5 times 1 we can break this one like that this one you can break down 5 times 5 times 1 again this one is not a reduced fraction reduce reduced fraction reduced fraction why because we have one extra here five so we're gonna have another example let's take a look here another example okay so if I have a 40 over 50 how do you reduce it? So, well, this one is many students, so I'll just cross out zero one at a time, or that really means divisible by 10. You just divide by 10. So you can cross out this, cross out this, and you can come up with four out of five, and which is the reduced fraction. Okay, let's have another one down here. Okay, another example. So, 14 over 12. Well, I'm just going to reduce it. Okay. So, 14 over 12. So, you know, in the top and bottom, we must reduce it. We must divide it. Remember, last equivalent fraction we, is to multiply it. We found equivalent fraction we've multiplied. Now, this time we are going to divide it actually okay so we're going to divide we're going to reduce it so we're going to divide by two we're going to divide by two so it's a seven out of six which is an equivalent fraction again we can use the divisibility rule also okay my another video has it what you know explain what is divisibility rule so if any number is even last digit is even you can divide by two okay and if last number is 0 and 5, you can divide by 5 and so on and so on. You can just play that video. Okay, so that's how actually we reduce it. So one more before I go, I can show you one more example here, okay? So what is that? I'm going to have it 56 
over ED4. So how do you come up with a reduce? Well, you can use your calculator, but you want to know how to do it manually also. So since this last digit is even, so we divide by 2. Easy and simple, we divide by 2. Okay. So 28 over 42. Look, it still is even. So what do we do? We are going to divide so divide by 2, divide by 2, and that will give me 14 out of 21. And this one, we can divide more. Why? Because we can say, well, this is 7 times 2, and this is 7 times 3. You can actually do that way also. So cancel this out, cancel this out, okay? And finally, you have two-third as a fraction, which is a reduced and simplest fraction, okay? Reduced and simplest fraction. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand. Thank you.